Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to get to the debug menu. So most of you probably already know how to access this, but I've been getting a lot of comments asking about the cars I have in some of my builds and other various clutter and decor items. So I just wanted to show you how you can access these as well without using custom content. So the Sims team gave us access to these items from various worlds last year. So this includes the cars we see driving around, fencing, plants, boats, planes, buildings, um, and a lot more. To get these items, what you're gonna wanna do is hold down Shift, Control, and C, and a text box will pop up in the top left-hand corner and you will type in bb.showHiddenObjects and press enter. And then you will type in bb.showLiveEditObjects. And then go to build by mode. And in this search bar, you can search debug. You can hit enter or you can select any one of these. They should all have the same items. They just might be in a different order. All right, so we have all of these items and the menu is very large, so I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'll just show you some of my favorites. And as you can see, we have cars. And these cars are not functional, so your Sims cannot drive them, but it can make your build look a lot more realistic. I know a lot of people used to size up the toy cars and pretend like those were cars. And then we also have plants, which can be helpful if you're doing a starter home and you don't have the budget for plants. And it just makes your house look a little more full. We also have a lot of fencing. We could do a curved fence. You might have to hold down Alt to place it. Then we also have this fence. And they'll come with little end pieces as well so you can stop it off wherever you want to. We have this item as well and if you put them together, it kind of is a fence with a little planter on it. And one thing I will say about the debug menu is if I hold down shift and place this item, it will not give me another item to place. And the same thing if you try to use the eyedropper tool, you cannot clone it. So you would have to go back into the menu and find the item you need. This fence and a little shorter version so you can keep it going. We have these hanging plants that you can move up with the 9 key. So it can hang from the ceiling. We have a planter box without a plant in it. We have this item that you can have hanging from a roof more cars like a van um have this like gas station if you want in your build maybe it'll go with the story you're telling i use these quite often like little planters and some are flat some are curved and you can scale them up or down Have a like a bus stop. I use these a lot as well. These are just like garden paths. You can kind of mix and match, turn them. You have a broom. Unfortunately, it doesn't stand up, it just lays on the ground. And then we also have like fruit, some raw chicken. <laughs> some beans, and we have like bridges that your Sims cannot walk over, but it still looks nice. I'm gonna have a whole house. <laughs> Again, your Sim cannot like do anything with this, but if you wanted just to make it look like there's another house by yours, you could do that if you wanted. Like a stoplight. Maybe you're doing like a neighborhood on one lot. That could be nice. We have like piles of wood. Some crates. 
We have this dock. We have this like shelter. We have another shelter. <laughs> and then we also have a bunch of different boats. I've used that boat before. And I think, yeah, we have like this boat. We have this like barge sailboat. I don't know what that is. We also have this like truck and trailer. A limo, a news van. And we have this as well. You could put a boat on. Some solar panels. So I'm gonna delete a bunch of this. And we have this greenery that you can put up against a building, size it down for a house. Some sailboats. And again, you can size these down as well. We have like a tower. We have this, which I've used before in a build as well. You could put a whole university building on your lot. Which if you size it down, it doesn't look good. And then we have a ton of rocks as well that come in different sizes. And again, you can size up and down if you'd like. But if you're building like a mountain home, this could be nice instead of just using the default uh, terrain paint that comes when you manipulate the terrain. So you have options there. All right, so I've just placed down one of my builds and I just want to show you guys how I've used some of these objects. So like right here, for instance, I have some shrubs over a fence, which I've gotten all of those from the debug menu. And then also, sorry, this like ivy on the front of the house and then also on the corner here is from the debug menu as well. It's brown right now because the season that we're in in this save game is fall. So that's why it's brown. Um, and then I have some plants hanging here that are from the debug menu. Not the one against the wall, just the ones hanging from the ceiling. And then if we go inside over to the garage, we have some of the cars from the debug menu this like electrical panel, these items as well, a bunch of stuff on the shelves. For instance, like the watering can, the shovel, the fire extinguisher, welding mask, these spray cans. Got a rake. I think this thing is for weeding. So it's like items that your sim would use, but you can't access in the normal catalog. But if you told your sim to go shovel, they would have that shovel. And then if we go over to the laundry room, I have some of these cleaning bottles up here that are from the debug menu. And then something else that I like to do with this like bar cart from Vintage Glamour, it's technically a side table, but I like to put like these bottles on the bottom shelf, sometimes on the top shelf, just to make it look more full. So that's just a few things. Oh, I also have some coffee beans right here next to the coffee pot that I got from the debug menu. So those are just a few of the items that I use. And then one last thing I just want to do is I got a comment on my video for this asking how the shower was functional so i just want to show that it is functional so i'm just gonna have her take a shower real fast and show that the shower is functional so i don't know if it was because of this fence that i have right here or if the person just doesn't have discover university so they don't have that shower but that is functional I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.